Detachment 2 of the 69th Reconnaissance Group conducted a squadron activation at Naval Air Station Siganella, re-establishing themselves as the 7th Reconnaissance Squadron. Officially activated as the 7th Aero Squadron in 1917, it operated 15 aircraft platforms during its evolution and now adds the RQ-4 Global Hawk to its resume. Air Force Major Ben Craycraft, Director of Operations for the 7th Reconnaissance Squadron, explains the significance of the activation. Okay, so today we stood up the 7th Reconnaissance Squadron. So for the first time ever, the 7th Reconnaissance Squadron has established itself as a squadron as opposed to the detachment that it was before. So now we are able to fly intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions as a squadron for the first time. So this is a huge gain for us. We're excited about that. The squadron's mission is to employ airmen and assets to deliver globally integrated intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance in support of U.S. national objectives. Although the name change is relevant for Technical Sergeant Nicholas Lasky, Communications Flight Non-Commissioned Officer in Charge, it's business as usual. For me, it's big. I mean, my last couple of performance reports all said detachment on them. So, I mean, that doesn't really capture what we are here. We're now a squadron. It's what we've always been. It's just a name change. Reporting from Naval Air Station Signella, I'm Petty Officer Ryan McClernand.